Hey, welcome back to my channel, The Smoking Beard. Today I will be showing you how to smoke hamburger patties. Stay tuned. All right, guys, for this cook, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be throwing in my uh, patties. All I'm going to be doing is, is uh, putting in my frozen patties. This time they're going to be doing frozen patties. Um, the time and temperature depends. The time it takes for the hamburgers to come out, it all depends on how high you have your uh, propane smoker and how well, how, or the, um, how you like your, your hamburger patties. For, uh, for my taste, I like my hamburger patties well done. So I'm going to cook them. Uh, to the pro proper internal temperature and I'll show you what that is in a little bit for right now All you have to do is in order to get this set up is you set up your propane smoker you put in your chips down there See so you can see those chips down there. They're already ready to go I do have some baked potatoes showing up here, but that's for another video if you want to if you're interested Go ahead and uh, look at my other videos here on my channel But after you put your frozen patties or thawed patties or whatever type of patties that you have uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to uh, sprinkle in some seasoning on top. And that's pretty much it. The next thing you want to do is just keep an eye on the temperature. I am going to, once the patties get... Um, cooked enough to where I can stick a meat probe I am going to stick a meat probe in there and I'm going to look for the right temperature um, and uh, we'll get we'll see how it comes out like that all right stay tuned all right so I just want to give an update of what I'm doing to uh, check for temperatures I don't have to be opening up my smoker as much as uh, as I want to leave it closed as much as possible so what I did is I got one of these uh, internal meat probes and I stuck it in to one of my burgers in the, the one right in the middle so that's going to allow me to, to gauge the temperature that's inside the meat. Right now we're looking at 81. For me, um, well done is 160, 165. So that's the temperature that I'm shooting for. But um, all, all that is, is you just keep, on, keep your eye on that uh, internal meat temperature uh, to make sure that you, do, you either go uh, high enough or not too high if you like them medium well or rare. So um, that's all you have to be doing now. Just keep a track, keep track of the internal meat temperature. All right, guys. So we're at the tail end of this cook, and honestly, well, there you go. Honestly, this is one of the easiest and the fastest cooks that I've done. It took maybe like 10 minutes. It's hit the 167, which I like for my um, well done uh, to be on the inside. So I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna open this up so you guys can see what they look like. There you go, nice smoked burgers. Now, for my my personal preference and my taste, what I'm gonna do, these burgers are done. But what I like to do is give them a flip. And leave them in there for a couple more minutes just so that the other side, so that the other side gets a little bit of color. As far as them being cooked, they're cooked. This is just for aesthetics. All right. So I'm gonna flip them over and then I'm gonna leave them in there for maybe about two more minutes and then take them out and they're ready to eat. All right, so that was a very quick and easy, fast uh, way to smoke burgers frozen. They came out in about 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes. Uh, if you have them uh, already uh, thought out it'll be a lot faster all right this has been the smoking beard thanks for watching if you like my videos go ahead and uh, like and subscribe and keep up to date with the latest and greatest all right catch you guys on the flip side